Rebuilding a Burnack Vulcan model steam engine toy. Part 13. In this episode, I adjust the length of the center flue and machine the internal tube plate from the other disc of gunmetal. That is because I made a mistake. The original flue tube stuck out of the top of the boiler and the chimney sat on that part. I'm going to modify the design so that the chimney plugs into the top of the boiler. That's why I need to shorten the center flue. I mark the position for the cut with a felt tip pen. And now it's top tip time. I'm going to use a parting tool to shorten this tube. Doing this without lubricant on a piece of tube in a three jaw chuck is dicing with death. And by that I don't mean the death of the operator, I mean the death of the copper tube. If you use a normal width parting tool, then the tube is very likely to buckle. Once I've done the job, I clean the outside of the tube with a file and the inside using a deburring tool as previously shown. The tube work was done in my Boxford lathe, but now I need to use the advantage of the large four-jaw self-centering chuck in the Smart and Brown lathe. Once I'd fitted the gunmetal disc into the chuck with the help of the tailstock chuck to align it, I need to machine the face of this, leaving a spigot on it that will fit into the Boxford lathe. I do appreciate that a lot of viewers may not have lathes in their workshop as big as this one, but never mind, you can actually use the external jaws in a smaller lathe to hold the part. This for me though is more convenient. There's a lot of machining in this episode, so I have two options, play music over it or talk over it. I think I'll use the latter because I've got one or two things that I need to say. Recently, I put my large showman's engine on the market via the Steam Workshop. And recently, I made a video about this showing it in the Steam Workshop. And even though I thought I'd explained the reason why I'm selling the large showman's engine, quite a lot of viewers asked me, why are you selling it? More about that shortly. Here's the part with the register machined on it. And now it's quite easy to hold the part in the Boxford Lathe's three-jaw chuck without changing the jaws. Here's the plan. I'm fitting the part into the chuck, holding it by the register that you've just seen me machine, and then I'm using the tailstock chuck to make sure it's fully in position. Pressed hard against the chuck jaws before I tighten them. It's important to accurately turn this part, starting with facing across the front. This disc of gunmetal is a bit thick for the application, that's why I'm turning it down to make it thinner. I'm turning at a reasonably high speed and the chippings are flying everywhere. Here's a solution to that, I'm using a piece of paper to deflect the chippings away from me. You mustn't use a piece of wood, that could catch in the chuck, paper is ideal. My hand was directly in the line of fire of the chippings. That's because I was using my hand to turn the handle on the cross slide, which doesn't have a power feed. In this clip I'm using the tailstock chuck to realign the piece, just pulling it out of the main chuck jaws, so that when the tool gets to the end of the cut, it doesn't hit the jaws. By using the tailstock chuck to align the part, the part that I'm working on will be held in the main chuck jaws quite accurately. It's very important that the fit in the copper tube is perfect with this. Not tight and not slack, just perfect. Here I'm doing something that you should not do. I'm using my finger to poke about behind the work to see how much of a burr is building up as the tool exits the work. At the moment it's not much, but it's going to get a whole lot worse. Why did I decide to sell my large showman's engine? There are three basic reasons. The first is, I have a bad back and when I drove the engine on the road, it caused me quite a lot of pain. Oh yes, I almost forgot, I also have prostate cancer and type 2 diabetes. The good news is, the piece of gunmetal is now exactly the right size to slide into the tube. I just need to remove this mess at the back of the work. And I didn't use my fingers for this, I used a screwdriver. To finish off the job, I put the part back in the Smart and Brown lathe. I didn't show it, but once again, I aligned it with the tailstock chuck. All I have to do is turn away this centre boss. I forgot to video the centre drilling of the part while it was still fitted in the Boxford chuck. You will see a hole appear very shortly in the centre of this work as the cutting tool breaks through into it. 
I think what happens is a lot of viewers don't watch the videos all the way through because when I post a video I often get questions when people are asking me something that's been covered in the video. For the benefit of these people who don't get any further than about a minute in, I am selling my showman's engine owing to serious health issues. Despite that though, I'm still very functional, I don't have any problems in other areas, it was just the showman's engine was miles too big and heavy. Here I'm drilling a hole all the way through the part. The drill bit is very long and it wandered about a bit, it's a terrible job. But now the job is much improved by the final sizing of the hole using a boring tool. I'm not concerned with getting a perfect finish on the inside of the hole because all of this will be silver soldered together and as you can see there's enough room for the silver solder to get down the side of the flue. In this clip I'm using a round nose tool to chamfer the edge. This is the bottom part of the tube plate that is outside the boiler and the idea of the chamfer is to allow somewhere for the silver solder to build slightly and strengthen the joint. I now have a kit of parts which is not fully finished, I do need to drill the holes for the fittings in the top cap and once I've cut the copper tube to shape and drilled the holes for mounting bits on it I will silver solder all of the parts together, but not in this episode. I'd like to wish all my viewers in the USA a happy Independence Day because today is the 4th of July. So have a great day, stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.